Hello. In this video, I'm going to start the Cogent Data Hub and then we'll connect to an OPC server as our data source. I'll click on the desktop icon to start the Cogent Data Hub and then I shall double click on the icon in the system tray and that will bring up our properties window. To connect to an OPC server, I click on the OPC icon and then I click add to add a, an OPC server connection. In this window I simply select the o name of the OPC server from this drop down list. I have a top server installed and the Cogent Data Hub itself also shows up in the list because by default the Data Hub is configured to act as an OPC server. So in theory we can have a loopback connection to the Cogent Data Hub if we want. I'll go ahead and choose my other server, the top server, and data coming in from the top server I want to be stored in a data domain that I'm going to call top server. Now if I just want to go ahead and read all the points from this OPC server as quickly as possible then I don't need to change the update rate and I don't need to manually select items from the server. We'll leave it as the default configuration which is to load all items from the server. So go ahead and click OK and then we need to click Apply to have those changes take effect and you'll see that we now have a status of running. If I view the data, here's our top server data domain and below it we have all of the data that I'm reading in from the top server. In this case I'm just running the simulation server. Okay, what I'd like to show you as well is I'm going to go back and add another connection again to the top server. This time I'm going to read the data into a second uh, data domain. I'm going to add a maximum update rate of 500 milliseconds so basically I'm saying update every half a second and instead of loading all the points from the server I'm going to manually select some points so when I, we click on that it up makes a connection to the server and I can now come along and choose whichever points I want to read in. Now the data hub maps the points on the OPC server to local points within the data hub and suggests a name for those points. Now what you can do at this point is you can click on the data point and you can actually change the name that will be created in the data hub. So I'm going to just remove this middle part and press apply. You see it actually adds another selected point to the list but I'm going to uh, just make the same change to these other points and then I'll show you what this is do doing. Press apply and this one. I'm going to remove the centerpiece as well and press apply and I'll just remove my three original point mappings because I only want to read in the three points into these point names that I've just configured. So if I press OK, press OK again to close this window and then apply these changes. You see we now have two running connections to the same OPC server. If we take a look at the data, here's our top server 2 data domain and under it you'll see we have a simulation subdirectory and there are our three points. So this is a way to read just the points you want from the server and to specify within the data hub the names of the points that they get mapped to. You'll see when we read all of the points from the server we had a somewhat more complete tree structure. Okay, so that's a quick introduction on how to configure a connection to an OPC server.